Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be testing 5 minute craft fall hacks and seeing if they work. And all of these crafts that you're going to see me doing, I found all the materials in my house or around my house. So some of the leaves, I actually got it from outside. But these should be crafts that you would be able to imitate at home if you wanted to. Or if you just want to watch me see if these work, then go ahead and do that. Uh, before we get into the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like this video if you like this kind of stuff. And I will maybe do more of this if a lot of people like watching me test stuff. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, so this hack involves a scarf I have right here. So basically, I have to watch the video first, hold on. Looks like I take the scarf, I fold it in half this way, I guess. Because I don't know how it would fold in half the other way. I'm going to fold it in half this way. So I don't think this is going to work if I have to fold it in half this way. But we'll try it this way first. And then you wrap it around your waist. Yeah, I'm going to try this way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Try this way. I don't know if this will go around my waist or not, but we'll find out in a second. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. Okay. No, I'm confused because I think it has to go around this way. I'm so confused of what they're actually trying to do, but supposedly you're making like a jacket out of the scarf. So let's go back to this way for a second. And it looks like my scarf might be too long. Because it's, it's going to be too long. It's definitely going to be too long. Because you're supposed, it looks like you're supposed to just tie these corners together. But like that's way too big because then you're supposed to like tie these together. And then just pull it up over your shoulders like this and it's supposed to have sleeves. But I don't... Let me see if I can figure out which way, which direction she's holding this. Because it might that will help me out a lot. Okay, so it looks like she's folding it in half this way. Why did she put that on? Because she folded it this way, it looks like. Okay, so she folded it in half this way and then she put it around herself like this. Which I had to, I don't think it's gonna work. That's not gonna work. My scarf isn't thick enough. Like, it's not gonna happen. Like, I, I, honestly, I'm calling this one cap. I don't think, no matter how many times I try it, and I'm, I, it's not going. And like, even if I try it doing this way, it's too big this way. So like, either you need a smaller scarf or just bring a jacket. Like, if you think you might get cold, just bring a jacket. Or use, you know, there's other ways you could totally use a scarf as a jacket type thing, like a shawl type thing, like this, or, you know, like, I mean, I don't know, I just don't think this scarf is made for this, honestly, and she probably took a shirt off, and, like, sleeves off, tied it down here, and then, like, pulled, him, pulled it up, like, it was clearly shot in two different, fr two different frames, so I'm gonna call this cap because I don't 
think it's gonna work or it just doesn't really work with this scarf especially because it doesn't I don't I can't get it to go around my waist without some kind of like I had to pin it and, the, and it's too long so you can't see this but it goes down to my ankles basically so I think this is just not gonna happen this this is a cap for me because it's it's just not it's not happening guys <laughs> sorry I tried I tried just just like I said just bring a jacket if you think you're gonna get cold just bring a jacket or you can just use the scarf as intended you know and just wrap it around your body like this like a blanket Let's see if I can figure it out finally if not, then we're going to call it, I'm going to call it cap, because I don't think I really tried hard enough, so. I think I just figured it out, guys. I might have. I think I might have gotten it. I'm going to double knot this though because it. Mm -hmm. I'll do that if I don't. Okay. So then. It, she knotted it like this. Maybe I can't do it this way. Anyway. like this I think and then, like you pull the top layer I don't think this is what she did. So I'm like, am I supposed to put my head in this? Am I supposed to be like a shirt? I <laughs> take the phone. And let me go get my phone and let me watch the video. See if I can figure out what she did after this. Hold on. Found it. So she tied it here. You know, she didn't have like this much extra stuff. Yeah, but I don't know where else. She would have tied it because, like, it kind of looks like she would tied like these two pieces together. Which I think mine is just too long because if I just tied these together, we're gonna have like a lot of overhang. See, it just doesn't work. Like I have to tie it down here. I have to tie it down up here because I just it's not it's too long. Which I think is where the problem comes in. Is that. You know, it, it, it doesn't work. They think this is just too long of a scarf. So maybe if I had a shorter one, it would work better. But it doesn't work. So, at least with my scarf. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is cap. Because I've spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. Like five, a good five minutes trying to figure this out. And it's just not making sense. So Okay, so this hack is basically you take some leaves. And you stick it in your printer. And you can make this really nice print for your wall. Um, again, this is one of those, like, crafty hacks, not really a hack hack, but I thought I would try it out. So, here we go.
And I'm holding this down so it doesn't pop up. back you guys up just a tiny bit so you can see me so this is what it looked like turned out so like I think it looks actually kind of cool um, again this is more of a crafty arts and crafts hack not a hack hack but I it turned out it turned out pretty clear uh, our color inks running out so it's not absolutely perfect but I definitely think if you like wall prints and you want one for your wall that like has leaves on it this is definitely it. This is definitely the hack for you. Um, all you have to do is just rearrange some leaves on your copier and make a copy. And you get this. So yeah, I definitely think that this is definitely a hack. It's a fat, you know. Um, if you want decoration from fall, cute fall decorations that are relatively cheap. Actually tried it again this is the result. I uh, had to move some stuff around because the copy, like this one, it kind of cut off the leaves, but this one it didn't too much. So, yeah, I would definitely try this one if you are looking for some fall decor and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you live in a place where you can just go outside and get leaves. I would definitely try using this hack. It definitely works. Hack involves a napkin, which you don't have, but I have this like white fabric we could use. Um, a leaf and let me get it. Some eyeshadow. Uh, this is an old palette that I'm not using anymore, so that's why I'm using it in here. So let me get something to use the eyeshadow and we'll show you how to do this. Glee, the hack from what I could see was to use some eyeshadow. And it just cut to an advertisement for Pandora. So, or about Pandora for uh, Disney Plus. So, yeah. So, you take a napkin and then you take a leaf and some eyeshadow and like put it on the leaf. So, I got a leaf here. I might get a different leaf and see if it works better, but take the eyeshadow. Again, this is an old palette, so make sure you use an old. I will be right back. I gotta go get another leaf. Okay, let's see that. Screw your screen very well. Okay. So the hack is to basically take a leaf and you can print it onto like fabric, onto like a cloth napkin. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try. See this And probably just after this, um, I'll go ahead and run it through it. We'll see it actually stays on. It's a very useful napkin. Like, you know, a, a napkin wrap. Yeah, you're probably gonna want to uh, wash it. So this one's the second part of the leaf napkin hack and basically what you have to do is take some parchment paper, you put the leaf on the napkin and then you put the parchment paper on top and then you iron it out. And it should stick. It didn't say how long, so how long do I let it sit for? So I'm kind of assuming I let it sit for a couple minutes and then have a chance to stick. I remember I didn't tell you, we did get some burnt leaf. So I think I just had my iron a little too hot. Oop. I think I just had my hot iron just a little too hot that time. Okay. Nothing happened, so maybe let me try with black and see if that works. 
As I was doing this, I realized that I think I used the wrong side of the leaf, so we're going to try it on the other side of the leaf and with black and see if that helps. Okay, so for this hack, basically I'm going to put, I have some boiling water, I'm going to put some vinegar in and some leaves, and this should turn yellow. So I'll show you. Here are the leaves. They're yellow. Um, the original hack had orange, but we didn't have any orange leaves, we just had yellow ones. So that's what we're going to go with. And so hopefully it'll turn yellow. And for reference, it's supposed to look like this. Highly doubt it's going to be this color, but I'm willing to bet it might turn yellow. Probably not this yellow, though. Boiling water. They just dumped like a tiny bit of vinegar in, but I'm going to put a little more in. But, I don't know. They put like a cup of vinegar in. We'll just dump some in and see what happens. Okay. I'm more water because everything I think has to be completely under. But I think if I let it sit, let it sit for a little bit, um, it will die. But I'm kind of wondering if maybe I need to put a little more liquid in. I don't know if I should put warm water or vinegar in, but there was some more vinegar in just to be safe. Ow, we'll see if this works. Back to this, we'll see if it's stuck. Um, mm, not really. You can see it kind of. I don't know if I just need to put more eyeshadow on it. Like, I put a lot on, so I don't know. It's a crispy leaf, I'll tell you that. Definitely burnt. Let me see if I can try it one more time. Let me try it one more time, and if this doesn't work, then we're calling it cap. can kind of see it it's there I would not put this in my washer I would not use this put it in my washer anything like that um because it took a few tries and that's just gonna come right off I can already tell like I could probably rub it off yeah I'm like rubbing it off with my hands so this is definitely not a fall hack I would try it doesn't really work I don't know if they like did a couple shots and switched it out, but it didn't really work for me. Maybe you can get it to work for you. I don't know. This is, this is what this looks like after about a half an hour. It's said to cook until the leaves give its color, and that's kind of vibe I'm getting right now. So I'm going to go ahead and basically mix it up and let it sit for 24 hours. So I'll tell you tomorrow how it looks. How it looks tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Here we are, day two of testing hacks. And if you guys remember, I put this, let this sit overnight. And it's been about a day since I've done this hack. But basically, I put water, vinegar, and leaves into a pot, boiled the water, and then put some of the cloth in to see if it would dye it. And so here we go. This is what it looks like after 24 hours. There's not much been much of a change. It's a little off white and it's nerdy now. Um yeah, and the other one looks like that too. I don't know if because they were supposed they used cotton and I didn't, it's dripping. Um it turns brighter orange, but my guess is that they swapped out the shirts. Cuz this was supposed to be like a bright yellow. And I'll tell you, the water definitely is yellow, just it didn't go onto the fabric, so maybe it's the fabric was the problem. But I definitely knew that this was not going to be bright yellow, it would have been a very tinted yellow, which is what these are. So I kind of, that's kind of what I expected, but I'm going to basically say this might work, but probably not. It will definitely not make the bright color that, you, that we saw in the video. So, I'm sure this works.
It was a different fabric, but just didn't work here. So for this last hack, I'm gonna make a poncho out of a garbage bag. So we'll see how this goes. Here. I'm supposed to cut like right here and cut out basically a face hole. So. Okay, so I cut out a face hole. I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe a little bit bigger of a face hole. We need a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger this way of a face hole. really bad cutting. I'm so sorry. I can't cut things very straight. And then cut like that. And then I think you're maybe supposed to cut this open. I don't know, but yeah. And then yeah, just basically cut Again, this is a really bad cutting job. So, this one I have to cut it at this floor line. So that's the only because it won't cut me. Okay, so it didn't tell me which place to cut, so I might have cut it in the wrong way. Okay, so this is what my poncho looks like. Let me tie it really quickly, tie it together really quickly. There we go. That's my poncho. It doesn't cover very much, so you're, only your shirt's gonna stay dry, but, alright, yeah, I'm also getting, like, superhero vibes, <laughs> like, it's just, it's giving superhero vibes, especially when I take this hood off, yeah, so, yeah, when I take, anyway, I take this hood off, I get, like, superhero vibes, so, I think there's only one place that we can test this to see if it really works, since I don't live in a really rainy area, I have this for the outfit change, but I'm prepped to get wet right now, so. Here we go, we're gonna test out this poncho and see if it actually works. Okay. Here it goes. I'm gonna get something wet. Because the poncho, I don't think you can tell, the poncho only goes to like the bottom of my shirt. So the bottom of my shirt and my pants are red wet right now. But as far as the rest of me, take that off. I'm pretty, pretty dry. So it did work. Um, my front is a little wet. I, you guys can't really tell. Well, right here is kind of wet because that's where it kind of closed. So I would say this hat does work. Um... I would just be prepped to know that only your hair and your shirt are going to stay dry, the rest of you is going to get wet. Um, and yeah, I mean, you could also probably just buy a poncho for somewhat cheap online, like on Amazon. So you maybe don't have to make your own, you might be just cheap to buy one 
and have it cover you all the way down to you know, your pants or your knees. Um, or is this one didn't do that, but this one definitely works. I'll tell you it works. Maybe not the best idea, but if you're in a pinch and you need a poncho, you could totally cut up a garbage bag and it works. So yeah, I would say this one definitely is a hack if you wanted to try it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that subscribe button to see more of me. Also, go ahead and check out some of the other content on my channel. I have vlogs, I have cat videos, I have um, cooking videos. So go ahead and check that out. And leave a like on this video if you liked it, and maybe I'll do more. Also, go ahead and check out my social media. Links are in the description box. And that's it. So thank you again for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!